let's talk about the best STEM degrees based on pay, growth, and how easy it is to find a job. Hey everyone, my name is Hisham Khan and welcome to Income Over Outcome, where I give you college and personal finance tips. If you don't know what STEM is, it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And it's well known that a STEM degree will land you some of the highest paying jobs right out of college. But recently there's been some debates over if STEM is still worth it because the field is so oversaturated. Everyone is trying to get that bag and that's kind of true. There's a shortage of jobs in a handful of STEM fields but others are absolutely thriving. So it's really important that you understand which STEM degrees are still worth getting. All of the STEM majors I'm going to talk about have the potential to earn you six figures and they're growing in demand. They're they're most definitely worth your time and money. It's also important to note that you don't have to go into STEM to make money. You should be doing what you're best at. I always knew that I wasn't cut out for STEM so I didn't go into it but I'm still making money comparable to people in STEM. So it's just about being smart with what you choose to do. And I have other videos on my channel that give you non-STEM options like this one and I'll link them in the description so check them out if you want. Lucky number seven is management science. Now you've probably never heard of this before but it's really good at preparing you to work in a bunch of different industries and it's becoming more and more common. You'll learn all about statistics, data, a little bit of programming, and even operations research, all focused on helping you solve business problems. And all of those skills are really valuable in today's society. You could go into analytics, marketing, business development, or even economics. The possibilities are really endless, and the path you take totally depends on what you enjoy doing and what internships you focus on. If you're strong in math, and have an interest in business, then management science might be a good fit for you. Plus, all of the career options have really high growth and could allow you to earn six figures not too long after you graduate. For example, operations research analysts make $85,000 and they're expected to grow by 25%, which is wild. Holding the sixth spot, we have physics which is another really versatile degree. But this one is more for people who enjoy science and have a really technical way of thinking. Physics gives you a strong foundation in math and analytical skills, which are really important in any technical industry out there. From what I've heard from professors and friends, physics is one of the best degrees to get if you want to go into engineering, but you're not really sure what type of engineering you want to do because you learn concepts that are core to engineering. You just don't learn the real life applications of it. So it's really important you go ahead and get internships. Because what you learn with a physics degree is transferable, you can get so many different types of jobs. You could go into data analysis, become a teacher, and if you want to go to grad school, you could become a physicist or even a researcher. The biggest downside is that physics is one of the hardest majors out there. I know for a fact I couldn't be a physics major, but if you're cut out for it and you can grind through it, then you can have a very lucrative career. Coming in at fifth place, we have information technology or IT. Now this is for those of you who like to go ahead and hit that notification bell and like button. I'll appreciate that. But it's also for those of you who like to work with tech, but maybe you don't want to sit around a computer and code all day. Think of it as computer science, but more hands-on. Some classes you might take are computer networking and database management, but the most valuable things you're going to learn are how to troubleshoot and solve problems. Fresh out of college with an IT degree, you could become a system systems analyst, network engineer, an IT consultant, and some people even go into software development. Starting out, you'll probably make around $70,000, but as you progress in your career, you can make a lot more money. One of the common jobs for people with an IT degree is being a computer network architect, and they make around $112,000, and growth for them is above average. At number four, we have statistics, a degree that involves a whole bunch of math. Now, as a student, you're going to learn all about using data and interpreting it to make it easy for other people to understand. Becoming an expert in stats is an amazing skill to have in today's world because data is the world's most valuable asset. There's a Netflix documentary called The Great Hack that explains exactly how powerful data can be and it absolutely blew my mind. 
you should definitely check it out. Companies will pay you a lot of money if you could help them sort out their data and make the most of it. If you want to go the traditional route and become a statistician, then you have to go to grad school. But there's a lot of really good options right out of undergrad, like becoming a data analyst, finance quant, or even an actuary. All of those jobs have high salaries, but the real kicker is the extremely fast growth with any role involving data. If you work with data, you're definitely going to have a bright future ahead of you. In third place, we have engineering. Now this is one of the more controversial STEM majors because a lot of people think engineering is a dying field. Now some engineering majors are more lucrative and in demand than others. That's totally true. I can make a whole entire video dedicated to engineering because each discipline is so different. For example, demand for software engineers is growing like crazy and it's only going to continue to grow. But on the other hand, civil engineers aren't as much in demand. In fact, they're growing slower than average and they're paid less than software engineers. But in general, engineering is still a solid choice. Engineering majors continue to dominate the list of the best college majors because the skills they give you are actually practical. I've also noticed that people who combine engineering with a double major or minor in business tend to have the most successful careers because they demonstrate soft skills a lot of engineers just don't have. And since a lot of the money in engineering comes when you start managing people, that can really give you a leg up. Taking the second spot is actuarial science. Now this is a ridiculously high paying degree and I talk all about being an actuary in this video here. So I'll link it in the description if you want more info. Actuarial science is another one of those degrees that involves a ton of math, but the way in which you apply that math is pretty unique. An actuary's main job is to calculate risk. So a lot of them work with insurance companies to help them set prices. If you become an actuary, you're going to get really good at predicting the odds of someone getting into a car accident or their house burning down. Now there's a bunch of hard tests you need to take in order to become an actuary and I talk all about that in my other video. But the most important thing you need to know is that it takes a really hard work ethic and a really intelligent person to become an actuary. But after you pass those tests, it's really not all that bad because the job is generally low stress, you don't work a ton of hours, and you're going to make a bank. The average salary is around $108,000 and growth is 18%, which is really good. And finally, the number one best STEM degree is computer science because its demand is greater than any other degree on this list and it actually gives you real life practical skills like programming, database design, and analytical skills, which can be used in so many different types of jobs. The most common job for people who graduate in computer science is software development, but you could also go into things like cybersecurity, database administration, IT consulting. Really the list goes on and on. But my favorite part of computer science is the flexibility and work-life balance. It's no surprise that most of the companies in my video on places with the happiest employees hire a lot of computer scientists. We all know how big working from home has become over the last few months, but people in computer science have been way ahead of the curve. They've been working from home for years. I just read this study done on over 90,000 developers and they said over 74% of them were satisfied with their job, which is something not a lot of people can say. A lot of computer science grads make six figures right out of college. Software developers average $107,000 and their growth is 22%. So computer science is definitely a great field to go into. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that notification bell and like button. I'll see you in my next video, but until then, take care.